Dear students, in this module we shall discuss the feedback control systems in animals. The feedback systems are the mechanisms of self-regulation of biological processes. The basic principle of feedback control systems is that the end product or output of a process itself regulate the process. The significance of these systems lies in the fact that homeostasis in the cells and body of a multicellular organism is maintained because of this process. Feedback control systems body ke andar bahut sare variables ko regulate karte hain. Ye wale variables physical ya chemical dono tarah ke ho sakte hain. Misal ke taur par physical parameters temperature, salinity, pH aur iske alawa chemical uh, variables jaise ke products of metabolism hai inki regulation feedback control systems ki madad se ki jati this regulation requires two basic things first is that the variables are continuously sampled musalsal sampling ki jaye aur dusri cheez ye ke jo proper corrective actions hain wo bhi immediately perform kiye jaye there are two types of feedback systems. The first is called negative feedback system and the second is positive feedback system. Negative feedback systems are more common in living things while uh, in which the accumulation of end, an end product works are, uh, to stop or slow the process. We shall take two examples of negative feedback systems. In the first example, we see that the breakdown of glucose in the cell generates ATP. When a cell makes enough ATP and concentration of ATP increases more than the required level an enzyme is blocked at the beginning of the pathway that is generating this ATP as a result the production of ATP is stopped temporarily this results in the regulation of level of ATP in the cell The second example that can explain the negative feedback is of control of blood sugar by the hormone insulin. When blood sugar level rises in the blood, receptors sense a change in its level. The control center which is pancreas starts to secrete more insulin. When more insulin is produced, it results in lowering the level of glucose in the blood. The lowering of glucose results in decrease in the level of insulin because the control center, pancreas, senses this change and stops the secretion of insulin. Dear students, now we shall illustrate the mechanism of negative feedback. We shall take an example of a three-step chemical pathway that converts substance A to substance D. Every step of this chemical reaction is catalyzed by a specific enzyme. The accumulation of end product D feeds back negatively which results in the inhibition of the first enzyme in this sequence. When this first step is blocked, next steps automatically blocked. Thus, 
a negative feedback stops or slows down the production of more substance D. Now we shall discuss positive feedback systems in which an end product speeds up its production by enhancing the effect of original stimulus. Many biological processes are regulated by positive feedback. However, they are less common in living systems. We shall illustrate positive feedback system by a figure that shows a biochemical pathway in which the product stimulates an enzyme in the reaction sequence which increases the production of the product. Let us take an example of positive feedback that is exhibited by clotting of blood. Clotting of blood platelets ki wajah se hoti hai. Ek site of injury par jab blood nikalna shuru hota hai usme platelets maujood hoti hai. These platelets produce certain chemicals which attract other platelets. As a result, site of injury par mazid platelets aati hain. Jo mazid platelets aati hain, wo aur zyada chemical produce karti hain. Aur mazid platelets pile up hoti hain. Ye sisla us wak tak jari rata hai, jab tak ke ek proper size ka clot ban jaye. Aur wo injury par wound ko close kar de. Aur is tere se blood flow ko rok diya jata hai. Chemicals jo platelets ne produce kiye, they are actually enhancing the process that is feed, a positive feedback. Positive feedback ki ek or example. Child birth ke doran oxytocin hormone ki release hai. Oxytocin intensifies and speeds up contractions of the uterus. Increase in contractions causes more oxytocin to be released. That is positive feedback. The positive feedback cycle goes on until the baby is born. 